Hello and welcome to the video demonstration of the Datalinks Warehouse Manager X3 for Sage X3. Um, in this video I'm going to take some time just to show some of the principles around the users, um, how you set users up, the screens, the layouts, etc. Um, this is not about the functionality of the product, it, it's more about the how a, a user is set up, how they uh, the controls that you have over menu options, um, etc. So what you're looking at on the screen here, on the right hand side, there's a simulation of the handheld client um, and, and you'll see us operating that and changing the menus around. Um, and then on the main uh, server administration, you can see here, um, there's various options around menus, translations, users, etc. Um, so really this is about uh, what the user sees on the handheld um, and, and it's controlled by the user type. So if I, if I uh, switch on the, the handheld, the first thing that the handheld's doing is, is set at a, a login ID. And that login ID will be a user um, of the, the warehouse. Typically an individual will have their own user as opposed to groups using the same IDs. Um, and if we look at the users within the admin tool here, you can see we've got five users set up here. Um, and these, these users are the uh, login that I'll be using in a moment, um, the, the default site that the user is, is logged into, and the language that we, we serve to the, the handheld as well. Um, and, and you'll see some of that as we go forward. Um, as far as users are concerned, this, uh, all the communications into um, X3 is via web services and the user has to be configured within um, X3 itself. So it has to be a valid user because we use their credentials in various parts of the, the product. Um, but we don't consume a user, um, at least not a Sage uh, complete or uh, inquiry user. Um, yes, we're using web services and depending on the version of X3 that you're using, you'd have to make sure that you've got enough uh, web service uh, channels or in update nine and enough, enough allowance to allow our communications in through the, the, the product. Um, the user themselves, um, as, as mentioned here, um, I'm just using simple user one through five um, and the language here. So if on the handheld, the first thing I do is log in as user one and, and it'll present out the pass, password. Uh, again, that password is the, the X3 password. So I'll just uh, enter that in. Let me just uh, retype that. Okay. And we select on the touch screen, okay. And it presents me the menu. Now the menu name is at the top here, warehouse user. Okay, so as, as we were saying, we look at the warehouse user here. And if I select the same menu item or the menu type here in the admin tool, you can see the options are presented on the handheld here in the same sequence as the buttons here. Okay, and and you have control over the the names, the the uh, labels that are put onto these tabs as well. And and just to show that in operation, for example, if you wanted stock management at the top, what I can do here is click here, present that up, and I've moved now. You can see stock management from the fourth item down to the top item. If I just select one of the items on the handheld and go back to menu, and you'll notice I haven't re-logged in, I haven't changed anything as far as the handheld. All I've done is refresh the menu, and it's presented that up on the top um, uh, top screen. So uh, central controlling the menus through um, the administrator here serves it to the handheld the next time the user logs on or refreshes the menu. As far as what each user gets to see and how you build these, again, this is about how you're adding menus and submenus and business transactions into the screens. So you have control and you can build which um, functions and which um, items are presented on each of the handheld menus. And then 
using the warehouse user name or the name that you've called the menu and the users you can then present them the screens that they use okay so here you can see the different users are getting different presented different uh, items just coming back onto the users for a moment this one here which is a polish user um, if i just pop up a, a secondary a handheld here and this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to log in so i'll just uh, switch the client on and this time rather than using user uh, two that i used last time i'm going to use user three because it's a polish user and the moment i enter myself as a user you can see already it's starting to serve a different language um, so we haven't even got in through to the screens and it's presenting up different uh, different text um, Again, as I, I log in here and now you can see all the labels have changed functionality is the same you can see it's actually uh, in the same location um, and this is using a combination of the sage language packs where we can use the languages there plus within our admin tool there's a whole set of translations uh, that can be set up um, there's a few hundred um, setups that need to be done um, for, for the uh, for the full set so um, I'll just try and find one that's uh, got a translation so there you can see uh, the translation in, in Polish in this case um, in English in a different case and these are these are fields and flags that tend to go onto the handheld um, but it does also give you the control as a as a site or as a, a business partner to start managing this the other beauty of this is you can actually set up um, this to be different uh, text for yourselves which means if you've got specific site uh, phrases and languages that you use um, we call this for example a pick ticket uh, somebody might call it a picking docket um, well you can just change the wording from ticket to docket and that's what will be presented up on the handout so hopefully through this video you've seen some of the controls um, that just make the uh, user uh, easy or the the presentation of the, the product to the user easier um, and it allows you to have some controls on on what a user sees what options they get um, and and how the the various programs are presented to the user thank you for taking the time to to look at this video on on the user admin side of things um, if you want more information want to look at the product in more detail there should be more videos online for you or feel free to contact us on the numbers on the screen and email addresses. Thank you and we look forward to talking to you in the future.